Shivers just ran down my spine as soon as we entered this room. Desco senses a tremendous force. This presence is nothing short of a final boss. Then he must be here somewhere. The demon of all demons who rules the netherworld. Father! <laughs> Your fear is unnecessary. The president is the leader of a rotten netherworld. He's merely the embodiment of rotten demons. <laughs> I appreciate the introduction, Tyrant Velvetorius. Th that's... He's... The netherworld president, Amizel's daddy! Father. I praise all of you for reaching this place alive, you brave yet foolish rebels. Desco is scared, big sis. His presence shows that he's on a totally different level than we are. It's okay, it's okay. This is just a dream. I mean, toughen up, Desco. You're gonna be the final boss, aren't you? Y yes, you're right. Desco shouldn't be scared. Desco is gonna be the final boss. I've been waiting for this, Mr. President. Or should I say... Death King Hugo! It has been a while, Father Torres. Who would have imagined you would be the one leading the rebellion? I was surprised when I received the initial reports. You know my father? Indeed. We fought each other once, a long time ago. That battle, my blood still stirs in excitement just from thinking about it. Our violent battle went on for days on end. We never got to settle it, as I recall. So, is Bowsy supposed to be like some super crazy strong dude? Idiot. Have you only just realized that? Well, better late than never. Now, be sure to call him Lord from now on. Roger that. I'll be calling him Lord Bowsy. Keeping that light-hearted attitude even during the serious moment, Desco still has a lot more to learn from Big Sis. True. Such levity in front of the President. It's rather encouraging to see. Valva Torres, what do you seek to accomplish by forming a rival party? You don't even have your power anymore. I heard you became a Prinny instructor in Hades, but... Did your tyrant blood begin to boil in a rage of discontent? Nope. I'm happy with my job as a Prinny instructor. I'm rather proud of it. It's quite rewarding. If you hadn't issued that Prinny extermination order, I would still be in Hades, happily training the next crop of Prinnies. Now answer my question, Death King Hugo. You were more passionate about spreading fear amongst the humans than anyone else I knew. Why did you imprison innocent demons? Why did you let the humans get out of control? What is happening between you and the humans? Letting the humans get out of control? So that's how you see it? Coming from you, one who I've personally fought fist to fist, I take those words to heart. Is everyone else here in agreement? Have you all come here to take my head for the reason Valvatoris stated? wants to defeat Mr. President to become a final boss. My goal is to collect all the money that has been leaked to the netherworld illegally. I'm just here to complete my mission. Your office is my target. I'm gonna become the president so I can change the law and make people treat printies like VIPs. How about you? Are you here for revenge, Inizel? Absolutely not. I just want to prove to you that the spoiled Amizel, who wrote his father's coattails, no longer exists. I'm here to prove that Amizel has been reborn as a great demon who was worthy of being his father's son. Hmm. Werewolf, what about you? I assume you're the man who is behind this conspiracy. My schemes are only made valid with my master's presence. I cannot claim credit for it. My goal is a secret. I have no reason to tell you what it is. I see. 
<laughs> Look at you, as divided as can be. And to think that the Corrupterment has been tossed around by a party that is in such discord. That's right. We're completely inconsistent. Each one of us has something different to say. However, our intentions and goals aren't the bonds that are holding us together. It's nothing as insignificant as those. Connected by something much deeper and stronger. That is, the camaraderie that we've built through our various battles. Where we were born, how we live, not even what we are. None of us have anything in common. All we have is our camaraderie. However, there is no weakness to be found in our bond. My lord. Valda Torres. Mr. Valzi. Lord Valzi, I've really got to say, you're standing out way too much in my dream. Demon camaraderie? <laughs> Mr. Weirdo. Valda Torres. As a tyrant, you used to refuse any membership within a group. But now, here you are, talking about camaraderie? This is more surprising to me than learning that you were the head of the rebels. Huh. I'm evolving for the better every day. And it's all thanks to sardines and that one promise I made. So you say. I'll be the judge of whether it's evolution or simply degeneration. Pleasure is all mine! While we're at it, why don't we settle that battle we started so many years ago? Alright, now it's finally time to fight the final boss. Netherworld President Hugo. And... He pretty much has the same go that deaths have but he increases the stats of his bouncers as well yeah. very dangerous boss can eat away your MP and you got a lot of samurais and he's made just to deal with quite the hard battle I'd say Let's already get things into motion. Bless me. Starting off with this to try and eliminate these three. Yes, there we go. Also, this is awesome. My boss is a Crimson Cross. Getting everyone else out and ready. I'll show you. Here I come. Here I come. Yep, nope. My <laughs> heel should be right there. Turn. Let's see what they do. Oh, Giga Star, that's gonna hurt. Please, that was nothing. Now then, 
How about I show you what a real attack is, eh? Another glorious healer to start things off. Ooh, those guys are definitely dead. Okay, and let's see. You're weak to, you're weak to wind at most, so a mega wind for you. Which is perfect for me, because then I can actually do this. Dual canine fist for you. And this as well. No boosting spells, eh? Let's just give Luca this to heal a bit of HP. Uh, I probably should have used Holios instead of that, but oh well. Just picking off these guys like flies. Okay, this could hurt. Ow. Okay then, hmm. Let's see. Now that you're running Canyon Fist, we'll finish you off. Let's start th this off first. Okay. Well, so far things are going well. Oh, crap. Um, uh, yeah, I need to 
get rid of that status effect. No! Oh, God. That's not what I want. I did not want to use it on Desco. Wrong character. It's not working? Uh, great, so I can't heal. Terrific. Terrific. Okay, let's just do what we can. Take care of this guy. That takes care of the front force, and now all that's left is the president and his bouncers. Yeah, he's level 69, so we do need to be careful. Oh, good. I can use that to heal. And then I can heal with this. Very carefully, because I know he can. Oh, right, he can. Uh... Right here. Oh gosh, so he sh sh and turn. Hopefully, they don't move. Oh god, here they come. Alright, back, sounds back, and we can now put an end to this. Let's just get everyone into position. Right there, first up, the pretty volcano. And next up. A blade rush right there. And then I will do a... That. And let's see, can I... Yep, I can get him with holy arrows, but... If I go in a bit more, I can hit all three. There we go, yes! And Goyce hit her right there. Uh, let's get Fenric over uh, here. He should be safe out of harm's way there. And an easel. Oh, um, no. for him. Uh, 
and mandatory repo arrow trap. That's a command on pretty much everyone. Let's bring on the hell. This should finish it. Let's see how much damage we can dish out. Not bad. Yeah, for this guy, because of his tinker skill, you just want to eliminate his minions and just go all out on him. And that made his bouncers as well. Well, I got two more attacks left. I just got to re-input them in. Excellent work there. Angelic Whip. And finally, Arrow Trap to end it off. Good, now it's just him left. But of course, he's got a lot of HP. And pretty sh yep, elemental resistance to everything. Oh wow, there's one more bouncer there. I did not see you there, buddy. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, damn! Damn! Yeah, that's the power this guy possesses. How much damage you can dish out again? There we go. Um, ah, whatever. Let's see how well this can go. Here I come. On. This should finish him. Oh, 
288 HP left. He's almost dead. We can do this, guys. But he's going to just kill a lot of us now. Oh, that hurt. This guy is seriously tough. Okay, let's do this and then... A pretty. Let's do a pretty bomb. No, no pretty bomb. Just skip to the pretty barrage. Here I come. There. Yep. Yeah, this should finish him. Doesn't I can input one more command to finish the job. Yep, this is it. The final blow. And this is the end for who you go. We did it! We beat the final boss! That's it, guys. We have defeated the Netherworld President. It is over. We did it! We got him! Desko is now! Sweet! We finally got to the happy ending! I can't believe it. Did we really defeat my father? As expected of you, Tyrant. You are the only man in history who has ever inflicted a wound upon my skin. But... It seems you haven't regained all of your original power yet. Neither have you. Everyone keep your guards up! That wasn't his full power! We can expect at least three levels of transformations with additional power multipliers every time! Wait, are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh, come on. My dream seems to love all kinds of unnecessary excitement. I should be ashamed for thinking that we would be able to settle this so easily. Father's transformations! This will be my first time seeing them! They <laughs> were just so the wounded. The power of the president! It's scary, but Desko is ready to witness it! This is a great learning experience! The president is just another obstacle that stands in the way of my lord's true mission. For my lord, if I have a cut it out, being, I will get him. <laughs> There's no need to be so tense. That was all the power I have. I have nothing left, not even the power to transform. What? This easy. Huh? Why are you so negative? Call it being rational. I just know the harshness of reality. How? Why, Father? How is it possible that you have no power left? Death King Hugo! You can't possibly tell me that this is how our battle is going to be settled! Explain this um. to me. The Yakshas, the Overlords, and now even you have become a wimp! 
I have lost most of my power as well. Consequently, like you, I can no longer transform into my true form. The effects of the fear energy. So you knew. Velva Torres has indeed been gifted with a great partner. Fear energy? The fear energy? I feel like I've heard those words before. What was that again? It's the energy that's created when humans are scared of the darkness. Human fear is like water and oxygen for us demons in the netherworld. And then there's the awe energy, which is created when humans worship the heavens. Awe energy gives us celestial servants power and courage. Huh, talk about eco-friendly. The amount of fear energy, which gives demons their power, is decreased every year. Its effects are greater on demons with more power. Most of the demons who serve the Corrupterment have become worthless. But it's not like the decrease in fear energy just started recently. With the development of scientific technology, the humans began to create less and less fear energy. However, this would have been stopped if we demons fulfilled our basic responsibility of scaring the humans. We tried. The entire netherworld worked mm. around the clock to plant more fear into human minds. However, right. the humans progressed much faster than we expected. They ousted the demons using their scientific advancements. And it wasn't just science. They developed a much more dreadful power, which incorporated technology with magic. Technology with magic? What? It was a violent power that brought out fear in us demons in return. Th that's a total lie! I didn't read about any of that in my textbooks. We have electricity and gas, but I've never heard of or seen magic technology before. Human girl. The technology that is made public in the human world is only the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure you've experienced falsified information from the authorities firsthand by now. Ugh. Basically, As a point. humans have developed the ability to keep their fear energy to themselves. No one can stop them now. Fear energy to themselves? Impossible! How could they? It's simple. If humans begin to only fear themselves, the energy they build up will stay within the human world. Wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error, and daily incidents of murder. Just like we heard what at the, the beginning. What the humans fear now are humans themselves. Horror stories and urban legends, they're all created to make humans fear themselves. Seriously? You mean, horror movies were created so us humans can hog all of our fear energy? That's correct. The distribution of fear energy to the netherworld has been completely cut off. Completely? Not only will demons diminish, but the netherworld itself will be totally eroded away! Fortunately, or perhaps unfortunately, apparently demons have become valuable research materials for humans. So one day, what? the humans came over to bargain with us. In exchange for their fear energy, they asked to study, research demon bodies. You fool. Agreeing to that will only give the humans even more power to abuse. Yeah, that's not good at all. It was either forced oppression or slowly succumbing to a lack of fear energy. We were doomed either way. So the humans would have gotten what they wanted anyway. Those humans! Cowards! So, Desco was the result of that research. Unfortunately. So you were forced to make that deal with the humans. Father, I had no idea. I didn't know anything about that. They've only been allowing a minimal amount of fear energy to trickle into the netherworld. You've seen the effects of that already. Yep. Goodwill has vanished from many humans' hearts, and the number of Prinnies sent to Hades kept increasing exponentially. To conceal the weakening of the Corruptorment and prevent possible rebellion, falsifying information became inevitable. 
The reason behind the presence of waste from the human world and those mutated demons. The reason for trying to control the netherworld with the A-Virus. The reason for everything. Yep. Indeed. All of it. The netherworld has already been brought under the control of a single human. Valva Torres and his party were astonished by the shocking news that was revealed to them by Netherworld President Hugo. This unbelievable truth only led the party down a much darker path. Yep, the story is not over yet. The truth has been revealed, and a new enemy awaits. How could anyone have imagined the Netherworld was being controlled by a human? That's right! Our new enemy is the Purine. Sardines, which I had so much faith and respect for, possess mass amounts of Purines. Prunes? Ugh, I hate prunes. Uh, no, <laughs> it's Purines. They are definitely more horrific than prunes. Go ask your father. Your purines are broken down into uric acid in your body. They become enemies of patients who have hyperuricemia. Hyperuricemia is basically what causes gout. But don't worry. Purines are also found in many other foods. So basically, what I'm trying to say is... Eat sardines and refrain from eating too many other foods. Um. Oh, that's a really easy solution. Final episode. Magic Knight Valvatores. Hyper Sardine Syndrome! The war clouds are calling for me! The bottom line is, you just want people to eat sardines, no matter what! Yep. The tale is not over yet. My lord! That is completely absurd! A human is in control of the netherworld, you say? Unfortunately, yes. I know it's pathetic, but that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Totally pathetic. Yep. Who Why is that? do all villains start to get all chatty about their secrets after they're defeated? Whose voice is that? It seems like it's echoing inside my head! Or is he just trying to make his defeat more meaningful by revealing the shocking news? That kind of behavior is unacceptable. As well as being a bit unsightly, if you ask me. Who... Desco doesn't feel good about this at all. His voice has a very malicious tone. Huh? It just sounds like a perverted old man's voice to me. Ouch. A perverted old man? Oh, you've made this old man very sad. You've earned the right to be called a pervert by sneaking around and peeping on us. Show yourself! Yep. Who is... How rude. I don't mind the girls, but I won't stand being insulted by some useless demon. Who? It's that bastard. Guy again. Who the hell are you? Shouldn't you introduce yourself first, Valva Torres? This man. How does he know who I am? Oh, but this might be a bit of a problem for me since I got rid of my name a long time ago. You got rid of your name? <laughs> your parents must have given you a really bad one. So, you're Mr. Nameless? That's kinda stupid. Um, uh, I didn't get rid of it because I didn't like it. I got rid of it because it was useless to me while I was being reborn. Getting rid of their name to be reborn? <laughs> That's a typical human thing to do to escape reality. Ah, uh, guys. The stereotypical it's mindset of now. a criminal. Hold on. All right, we're back, and let's put it into this. A criminal. <laughs> Good guess. Sure, many humans may view me as something like that, but I'm not a criminal. I was born to judge humanity's sins. Judge humanity's sins. You may call me Judge Nemo, a man who is no one. Judge Nemo. Nemo means no one in Latin. This is the ruler of the human world. 
who monopolizes the fear energy and controls the netherworld. The ruler of the human world? Ugh, I've never seen this guy before in my life! You probably wouldn't even recognize the leader of your own country. Ouch! Hey, sure, I don't remember his name, but I'd at least recognize his face. It's that guy with the greasy face. I've never heard of a ruler of the human world before. Ruling both the human world and the netherworld behind the scenes, without ever appearing in public. Yep. Ugh, he is pretty final boss-like, isn't he? Dusko feels defeated. So, Valvatoris, you've defeated the President in a world where violence equals justice. That means you're the top dog of the Netherworld. I heard you're trying to bring the sensibilities of Hades to the Netherworld and human world. That's right. Bravo! This is fantastic, Valvatoris! That's exactly what I intend to do. What? Wait, huh? Actually, my goal is to turn the other worlds into Hades, too. Hey, wait a second, old man. Why would the ruler of the human world want to bring Hades to his world? Why wouldn't I? Humans are garbage. Their very existence is a sin. I couldn't agree with you more. But doesn't that make you garbage, too? Didn't I tell you that I'm the judge? I'm not human anymore. I'm here to admonish and annihilate them. I'm only doing this in the useless demon's stead. I deserve your gratitude. What? Disco, is this what your father is like? No! Disco wasn't created by someone like him. Besides, Disco was created to complete a very noble task. A noble task? Like what? What else are you supposed to do, other than become a final boss? What's her noble turn? That's, um, a secret? What do you say, Valvatores? Why don't we join forces, since we have the same goal in mind? How about no, because you're the main antagonist, the real one, I can tell? Let's turn the worlds into Hades together! We can destroy everything! Shut up! My goal is not to destroy the universe! It is to discipline both humans and demons. Turning their worlds into Hades, I will re-educate humans and demons and return them both to what they're supposed to be. But the worlds are going to be like Hades after all, right? So what's the difference? Lout, Nemo wants to destroy the worlds, and our Lord wants to reform the worlds by transforming them into Hades. Yeah, there's a difference. Although the worlds will become like Hades in either situation, their motives and purposes are completely different. That is correct! Hades is the place where you atone for your sins and train yourself to reform. You speak of using Hades to destroy the worlds. I would never team up with a fool who holds such absurd ideas. Are you choosing to oppose me? Even if I stop the distribution of fear energy? Even if you know that you can never defeat me? Even if we don't have fear energy, I still have sardine energy! <laughs> Plus, I don't seem to remember ever not being able to defeat you. <laughs> Isn't that a bit arrogant? Do you think you stand a chance against me just because you defeated Hugo? Um, maybe. Okay, fine. Let's end this. The Netherworld will be annihilated, and it'll all be thanks to you, Valva Torres. That won't happen. I'll defeat you and save the Netherworld and human world. Then I'll turn them into Hades. Jeez, you seriously aren't making any sense. Are you gonna save us or not? Yes, in his own way. Okay. Then come to the human world. I'll try to break things down for you there, so that you'll finally understand that you'll never defeat me. <laughs> Wait, Nemo! You will regret appearing before us here and acting like a final boss. Judge Nemo. Ah, gosh, dang it! It had to go oh, right now. Yes, we're going through this still. Final episode! 
battle! Final boss versus final boss! Yep, now we can create a bouncer. And we got the Blight House. Hey, what about the office of the president? We defeated him, so I get to be the president now, right? Yep. No, you idiot. The current president is none other than my master, Lord Valvatore. President Valvatore is. I'd vote for him. What? Are you serious? So if I want the position, then I just have to take Valzi down, right? Um, no. Okay. Desco is always on Big Sis's side. Desco will fight together with you. Fools! I am not your enemy. If you want the position, just take it. First come, first served. What? First come, first served? I won't have that. Sweet! I want to be the president! Uh, no, 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 no. Warden Axel, you're still No, alive? please, no, don't do it, Valvatores. Of course I am. I will never die, for I am Axel. Shut up, Axel. No, I doubt that's the real reason. You're not making any sense at all, either. I bet he's another fake. A remaining A-virus. We must disinfect it. My blood is perfect for this. I can offer him a sip of it for a million health. Did you think that no one would notice that you just upped the price? Listen up! I'm not a fake! I am none other than the original Axel! My real mission was to dye this netherworld my colors! As the dark hero, I have traveled the various netherworlds. But when I arrived in my thousandth netherworld, I realized that the only netherworld I hadn't visited was the one belonging to Earth. However, what awaited me here were various nefarious corruptorment traps. The corruptorment feared my charismatic arrival, so they captured and confined me to Hades. From then on, I was literally in a living hell, but I never gave up. To reach the masses of this netherworld, I sucked up to the corruptorment officials until I finally rose to the position of warden. Yep, you are a suck up as always, Axel. So what's the point of telling us all of that now? Why are you doing this? Because I had completely forgotten about it. Just let me finish. Forgotten about what? Your initial goal? Correct. To hide my initial motives, I became someone else and played up to the corruptorment. But I got way too into it. My amazing acting skills had even tricked myself. No, you're just an idiot. It's not your amazing acting skills. You're just an idiot. Thank you, Desco. Say what you want. After all these years of struggling, my efforts will finally be worth it. First come, first served. All right, it's decided then. You're the 62nd president. No! No! Oh, why, Valvatores? Ups and downs in the past, but as far as I'm concerned, it's all water under the bridge. Now, leave this place to me and go to the human world. Go on, get. I'll make sure to make this netherworld bleed my colors while you're away. Yeah! Um. Huh? So that was it? Really? Are you serious? You can't do that without my consent. This is my dream. Are you still talking about that? This isn't your dream. It's reality. Sorry for good, but you're. No way! This is a dream. This can't be happening for reals. How could this be? Out of everyone, that idiot became the president. This world is doomed. Yeah, fortunate. It'll be fine. Besides, I thought Mr. Vampire was after something much more significant. She has a point. I'm sure his mind is occupied with something more important than the position of the president. Don't ever speak of our lord as if you understand who he is. That really pisses me off. Hmm. 
You don't have to tell me. Usurping the regime yeah. was only oh, the first milestone of our lord's know, path to supremacy. Me. Treating my father is only a milestone. How far do you plan on going? <laughs> That's a secret. Well, I'm looking forward to the day when that secret is revealed. Come on. Shut up. This doesn't even involve you in any way. I plan on getting rid of you sooner or later. Oh, I get it. This must be one of those dreams where I become the ruler of the human world. It must be it. We just have to defeat that gross old man, Captain Nemo or whatever. Uh, Captain right? Nemo is someone from a book. It's Judge Nemo, big sis. And you're calling the ruler of the human world? Who is also controlling my father? A gross old man? I appreciate having someone like Fuka in our group. She's definitely good at setting the mood. <laughs> She's just an idiot. Although I suppose it's better than having her crying and whining all the time. Whatever the reason is, it's great that you're motivated to defeat that Judge Nemo person. Be prepared for it, lass. Yep. Sure thing. When I'm the ruler of the human world, I'm going to turn all the idols in the world into my own personal frenies. Okay, everyone, let's get going. Um, yep. We're going to have to save that for another time, because, frankly, I have to go. So, yep, next time we will take on the final chapter. The actual final chapter. Sorry, that was not the real final chapter. Anyway, just saving, and then we will close off. With that, we are off and done. Later, everyone.